Business Lexington is made possible by Cornet IMS, 25 years of providing integrated marketing solutions to Kentucky's top businesses and organizations. Cornet-IMS.com. The Keeneland Association, offering the finest in thoroughbred racing each April and October, along with auctions four times yearly in Lexington, Kentucky. And the Van Meter Insurance Group, preparing clients throughout Kentucky and Tennessee for a secure tomorrow by providing risk management and employee benefit products that work to keep employees safe and assets secure since 1977. In the fall of 2010, Lexington will serve as host to a major international sporting event, the Alltech FEI World Equestrian Games. Last year, the Knight Foundation asked people all over Lexington to offer their ideas about how the event could be used to bring lasting improvements to the city. Revitalization of the city's East End neighborhood emerged as the top priority. The Knight Foundation then awarded a $2.5 million grant to create the Center for Community Legacy Initiatives, and that group will lead the effort. As the planning process gets underway, an early concept being suggested to the community uses as its model the Findlay Market. For 150 years, a commercial and social nexus in Cincinnati's Over the Rhine neighborhood. Our report begins on the corner of Third and Race in Lexington's East End neighborhood. This neighborhood has, uh, you know, gone through um, a period of, of neglect. If you go, what, four blocks south to Maine, the nice project down there that Phil Hollaback's doing called Maine and Rose, condos and retail. Immediately to the north of here, probably three blocks, the um, housing authority is undergoing a Hope 6 renovation project that's going to be, I think, about 400 new homes, a new school. So um, what we've got is... The middle here that's in decay. There's a huge amount of possibilities, starting with the idea of a public market, for example, that uh, is a locally owned and operated uh, food supplier, um, a fantastic way to put small business into this community and improve the uh, food choice and availability, certainly. It becomes a meeting place. It becomes part of the community's spirit of revitalization. Finley Market is, is one of many models that I think we can use in this community. It's a model of community revitalization, community redevelopment, incorporating the aspects of business development, entrepreneurship, and a public market concept, uh, bringing in fresh vegetables, fresh fruits, fresh meat. Findlay Market is a major source of commerce in its neighborhood. It's the principal source of fresh food. There are over 150 people employed during peak operating hours by the markets, full-time year-around merchants. And the market also attracts over 100 part-time vendors seasonally during the warmer weather. So all of those businesses are contributing to the local economy. We do customer intercept surveys twice a year, and the last four that we have done have recorded over 70 different zip codes. So the market is attracting visitors from the entire tri-state region. Our visitors are spending on average $30 to $50. We have about 300,000 visitors a year to the market. So all of that commerce is pumping into the local economy. That, the implementation phase is always the most critical phase of a, of a plan, and that will be the next steps of how do we fund this. So now we have to also figure out through a combination of public dollars, private dollars, to make that retail public market concept works. What we would like to do is to try to bring in the resources that the university can provide in any way as this project develops. Uh, we also have our College of Agriculture, we have our College of Business, uh, College of Design, Sociology. So there are many opportunities for the university, and that's just to name a few, that as we begin to develop this, we will then bring in the expertise and the knowledge of those folks to help us with this project. But we must remember, before that period of neglect, this was a very viable component as to the culture uh, of Lexington, Kentucky. And the kinds of things we were talking about doing we revitalize that and get it on a growth track that's parallel to other growth tracks that we're witnessing in our community. 
What I can see this doing is really capturing the cultural essence of what happens in a community when you tie all the elements together and really beginning to see the pride and the history of a neighborhood, beginning to see what you can do and bringing in other folks into this neighborhood and beginning to have casual conversations and putting people back into the positions where they used to be, where they knew people by name. We're on a time frame of about eight months. To and from start to finish with uh, public involvement, neighborhood involvement, and that's where we hope to conceptualize and to galvanize what we think the visions of the community should be. What will the community ultimately want to be? Finley Mark was just one of those uses that we want to throw out there as a concept, and then the, ultimately the community will decide. Do they want that market concept or do they want something else? An important footnote here, everyone involved in the planning of the revitalization of Lexington's East End neighborhoods stressed that the neighborhood's input is essential. The process of educating and inviting comment is getting underway this month.